Well, welcome back to A3. This is the last video in exponents, and we're going to look at the exponent laws. Now, these are the laws that you looked at in grade 9. And here they are, our old friends, the laws of exponents. They must be followed at all times. Okay, so uh, I suggest you write these down right now, so pause the video and copy these down so that you have them with you at all times. I'll also post them in a small form in the corner of every slide. Alright, so we're going to do four different simplification questions using the laws of exponents, which are over here on the side, as well as the new information we learned about negative exponents and fractional exponents from the previous videos. Watch those if you haven't. Okay, so to simplify the following, let's see. Uh, I've got a cubed times a squared, which is going to give me a to the power of, hmm, let me think about it, a cubed times a squared. Which of the laws does this look like? Hey, it looks just like the first law, which tells me that a cubed times a squared is going to be a to the power of 5. As for the b's, well, I've got b to the power of negative 2 times b to the power of 4. And again, applying the very same law, that will tell me that that's b to the power of negative 2 plus 4, which is 2. And there we go. I'm done simplifying. Next problem. If you want to give this a, a stab in the dark, go for it. Uh, and go ahead and pause the video now. Okay, welcome back. I don't know if you've given it a try, but here we go. Uh, in the first case here, I'm going to deal with this double exponent, this negative 4 to the power of 2. So four, negative 4 thirds to the power of negative 4 to the power of 2. This looks just like the third of our laws of exponents. Uh, and that tells me that I can rewrite that first power as negative 4 thirds to the power of negative 8. Okay, in the second case, I'll have negative 4 thirds and using the power of powers 2 to the power of 3, so negative 4 thirds to the power of 2, all to the power of 3, gives me actually negative 4 thirds to the power of 2 times 3, which is 6. Now, going back to the first law of exponents here, uh, negative 4 thirds to the power of negative 8 times negative 4 thirds to the power of negative 6 gives me negative 4 thirds to the power of negative 2. Using negative exponents now, that can be rewritten as negative 3 quarters to the power of positive 2, which is 9 over 16. And that's positive 9 over 16. Okay, next. Here's another one. Why don't you give it a try if you'd like, and then uh, go ahead and pause the video now. Okay, welcome back. If you've given it a try, I hope it worked out. Uh, we're going to do this one little piece at a time, because we're going to notice that there's really just a 25 over 10 when it comes to the, the numbers, the coefficients. There's an a to the power of negative 2 over a to the power of 3. There's a b to the power of 3 over b to the power of 1. And there's a c to the power of negative 1 over c to the power of negative 4. Each of these mini fractions can be dealt with separately. 25 over 10 can be reduced by noticing a common factor of 5 to 5 over 2. a to the power of negative 2 is the same as 1 over a to the power of negative a to the power of positive 2. So we can rewrite it thusly. b to the power of 3 over b to the power of 1 well, we can jump right to an answer here. That's going to be b times b times b divided by one factor of b, which gives me b squared. And when it comes to the c's, well, we've got negative exponents in the numerator and in the denominator. So this can be rewritten as c to the power of negative 4 in the denominator. can be rewritten as c to the power of positive 4 in the numerator. And c to the power of negative 1 in the numerator can be rewritten as c to the power of positive 1 in the denominator. Let's simplify further. We now have 5 halves times 1 over a to the power of 5 by combining a squared and a cubed times b squared 
times c to the power of 3. All right, we can finally rewrite it into one fraction. That's 5 times b squared times c cubed over 2 times a to the power of 5. Last one for you, why don't you give this a try? Uh, I suggest that you start by working only within the bracket and then apply that power of one half right at the end. Go ahead and pause now. Okay, so I started this problem out. I haven't finished it yet. Here's what I did. I broke down into three separate factors, our big fraction, and we see that they're just three separate small problems. 27 divided by 3, which gives us 9 over 1, uh, x divided by x cubed, which gives us 1 over x squared, and y to the power 5 over y, which gives us y to the power 4 over 1. I can then rewrite this into a single fraction, and I still have this pesky power of 1 half to deal with. This can be dealt with quite quickly. Okay, The square root of 9 is 3. The square root of y to the power of 4 is y squared. And the square root of x squared is x. And so we're done. Okay, it's going to be important that you do lots of practice homework in this outcome uh, because it can be complicated as we try to remember all the laws of exponents and all of the new laws that we've added this year all at once in these problems. Okay, good luck.